What is up guys? Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're going to be talking about defaults for your printers when you actually get your printer and what you need to do. So since I got my Elgo Mars, I've been putting it through its paces and, and you know I've been producing a lot of prints and it's been coming out pretty well. And I've been receiving a lot of emails and a lot of requests on Facebook on what profiles do I actually use. Well the thing is when the manufacturer do their tests in the factory, they need to test this printer and they use a particular profile. What profile is that? Profile is that? Well, a lot of times they have a specific print that they run. And I know Elgu is running a small, tiny stormtrooper that they've been using. You'd see that on their Facebook page. They have posted up what they actually use to test our printers before we get them. But when we get them, most of the times we run a print that comes on the card or USB that's supplied by that manufacturer. And the particular print that's provided by Elgu is a Rook. And you'd see that, you'd see a lot of people posting up the Rook, how great it looks. And most of the time, the reason for that is because Elgu spent quite a lot of time going through their tests to make sure they could get a print. As long as you take that print and put it in, you're gonna have a great first result. So then my question was, if they took all of the time to go through this to get a good print, then why aren't we using the same settings? So I was able to extract those settings and all of my prints that I've done to date have been using those settings, which I call the Rook profile. So I've posted that up online and quite a number of people have been going through it and they've been posting their results and they've been having really good results. I'm not saying it's the best, I'm sure it can be tweaked, but if you want a profile that you could just go to and start printing as soon as you get your printer, I think the Rook profile is for you. So this video, we're gonna go through some of the settings, what the Rook profile is, how you make changes to it, and I'll even put up some pictures and videos of the ones that I've done. And you'd see just how great this is. So let's get started. So what you need to do is you need to load up Cheeto Box, add the mask to it, make these changes, And slice your file. When you finish slicing your file, if you look at the bottom, there's a small triangle. You click that triangle and you have access to the rest of settings. You fill those out and then you're not gonna have a problem once you send the model to print. There is opportunity for you to go ahead and tweak these profiles. But if you want a good start, this is the way to go. Now keep in mind, having a good profile doesn't guarantee you get a good print. Some prints require a lot of supports and you need to have your support game stepped up. Some prints require heavy supports, some are medium, and you may get away with some with light supports, but you really, really need to have that done really well to make sure you print some complex models. Simple models, you just load on the Rook profile and you're good to go. So don't think this is a catch-all for everything. You are gonna have to do some work but this is a really good place to start. If you have used the Rook profile and have made changes and it's gotten better, please post your results below. I'd love to try them out. 
So there you have it guys, the Rook profile for the Elgo Mars. Now there are a number of other printers that use the same board on the Elgo and even the UV array. So you may be lucky trying this on your Epax X1 or even your Photon S. So give it a go and let us know how it looks. If you like this video, please hit like and consider subscribing. I have a lot more videos coming out in the future. Thanks and happy printing.